You know, whenever I pick up Spurgeon in these videos, the devotion that uh, we've been doing, I almost feel like I have to apologize for the King James type of articulation that's written most of the morning and evening devotions that Spurgeon have. Now, there are some English versions made that use modern English, and those are nice, but if you listen carefully, I think we might be able to articulate the thought that he was communicating, and then afterwards, if you just bear with me while I read it, I'll always share with you what the sum and the sum total of what God may be speaking to me on in regards to the King Jameth that I heareth and speaketh through it, C.H. Spurgeon, <laughs> in the morning, if, as thou doest. Ah, uh, enough fun. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad, from Psalms. Some Christians are sadly prone to look on the dark side of everything and to dwell more upon what they have gone through than upon what God has done for them. Ask for their impression of the Christian life and they will describe their continual conflicts, their deep afflictions, their sad adversities, and their sinfulness of their heart. Yet with scarcely any allusion to the mercy and help which God has vouchsafed them. But a Christian whose soul is in a healthy state will come forward joyously and say, I will speak not about myself, but to the honor of my God. He has brought me up out of a horrible pit and out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. The Lord has done great things for me, whereof I am glad. Such an abstract of experience as this is the very best that any child of God can present. It is true that we endure trials, but it is just as true that we are delivered out of them. It is true that we have our corruptions, and mournfully, we do know this, but it is quite as true that we also have an all-sufficient Savior who overcomes these corruptions and delivers us from their dominion. In looking back, it would be wrong to deny that we have been in the slow slew of despond, the slew of despond, and have crept along the valley of humiliation but it would be equally wicked to forget that we have been through them safely and profitably. We have not remained in them thanks to our almighty helper and savior and leader who has brought us out into a wealthy place. The deeper our troubles, the louder our thanks should be to God who has led us through it all and preserved us until now. Our griefs cannot mar the melody of our praise. We reckon them to be the base part of our life's song. He has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. And I'm glad that they didn't, I'm glad that they didn't king of the Jameth, as I stuttered or did it. No, it's true that the reality of our existence should not be the sum total of saying what God has delivered us and how miserable it was and how bad it was and just how a despicable, disgusting creature that you were, because frankly, you probably still are. But the reality should be that, guess what? God, my God, took me from a place that I was like, yuck, and took me to wow, and I went from woo to hmm, and I went, ooh, cool, and I got excited because guess what? I made it. Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what you want? If it's not, get out. <laughs> I tell people that all the time when I'm writing, and they don't get a, they haven't a clue what I mean by that. I mean, frankly, let's be real. If your life is so miserable, get over it. <laughs> I'm not saying kill yourself. Go do something else. I mean, God doesn't leave us in a contin continual, in a continual state of misery, but rather he said that he would deliver us. And so if you're someplace that you shouldn't be and you shouldn't ought to be and you shouldn't be doing the things that you're doing and you're doing them, guess what? Then you are miserable. But frankly, I'm not saying that you should be a bouncing, bubbling bundle of joy, you know, 24-7, because even I get worn out. <laughs> but at some point in time, you should come out of the dark and into the light and rejoice in the fact that God has delivered you. And he will deliver you. And if you are in a rough place today, 
and take this word as God's word for you that he will bring you through it and that you don't need to focus on those things that are tearing you down but rather you need to look expectantly to the day when you will be able to rejoice as you should be right now and maybe you can't but that's okay it's cool God knows but if you can't rejoice now then look forward to the day when you can and be assured that even if you don't God is still with you he loves you he really does and thank God he does because sometimes it's hard to find love around us when some of the people that we think love us don't <laughs> God bless you